Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I have a question for everybody. Uh, hopefully somebody knows the answer to this. Um, in the universe of the multiple Karate Kid films and the Cobra Kai series, I what's the story on head kicks? Can you A, kick somebody in the head, and B, what are the points on that? So, like, in the very first film, um, Johnny Lawrence gets a warning for a head kick, an illegal head kick. But then that's what Daniel Russo wins the fight with, is a kick to his face. So what's the story? And I was just watching a clip of Cobra Kai. I have no phone. I don't watch it. I'm just bopping around on the, on the YouTubes there. And, um... The Miguel guy or somebody kicks a kid in the face. And I'm like, is that? What is that? So in, in the movie, the very first movie, the only one I'm really, from, you know, I caught bits and pieces. The other ones, for the most part, they look so, so ridiculous. Like with Terry Silver, it's like these grown men torturing this poor teenage kid over a karate tournament. Because they were in special forces in the Nam. What? And then, I don't even know about the, but it's like, the universe never has and never will care this much about karate tournaments. But like, that's the, the funky thing about Cobra Kai. It's like, the whole town gets caught up in a karate tournament, and I don't know what shit was like in the 80s, but you would, I don't know that the, you would get that many people, I mean, I with all the the kids there, and that's all their parents, but it's like, in in this universe, like, Daniel LaRusso, the fact that he won a karate tournament is like a big deal, like when he's selling the, car, the cars he's selling, and it's like, would anybody give a shit? But, it's just, it's just odd, it's like, uh, 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 so, if somebody knows... Are head kicks legal? Or what's the story on that? Because I've been watching clips of Cobra Kai and people are getting kicked in the head, like, constantly. And I don't know. I'm not... I, karate's for little weenie people that don't shave yet. Like, I don't care about karate. I respect it as a skill set and a discipline, but I, I don't care to learn all these martial arts and stuff it's you know gay so uh you know i don't give a shit to to go find out but i'm curious does anybody know is what's the story on head kicks can you know if you're at a karate tournament and you kick someone right in the face like i've watched you know i've been clicking around all day and I've seen like six or eight examples on Cobra Kai of in the tournament people getting kicked in the face and getting points for it. And I'm like, pretty sure it's not right. But I don't know. So getting kicked in the face, getting kicked in the head, is that legal? And if if it's not like if you're not getting penalized for it, but are you getting points for that? I don't know. It just... But that's why... I know I can't get into something like karate, whether as an observer or a fan, or for myself, because it's like you know, you block something. I, I know you can't make everything MMA where someone's getting their face bludgeoned, but you know it's for kids. But that's the other thing too. It's like it's it's a tournament for high school students, so would they let their kids get kicked in the face? What's the story on that? So if somebody knows, let me know. What's the deal at karate tournaments and stuff on getting kicked in the face, getting kicked in the head in general? And I would, I'd be curious to know. Uh, and then I'll do a review, a more in-depth review on the Karate Kid movies and Cobra Kai and stuff. But it's like, that's kind of the, that's kind of my turn off. It's like, there's a lot of skill and a lot of discipline that goes with what you do, but then if you block it with the arm, it's not a point. And I'm just like, yeah. All right. Well, right here. Cheers.